Welcome back. Now let's take a look at the new features that ship with RX7 standard version. First, let's take a look at Music Rebalance. Here's the module. And to help me, I have a song by a friend of mine. And the name of the song is You Don't Know. And the name of their group is Jet Goldblum. And this is what it sounds like. Let me drop down to a, a verse here. Let me get a turn. Back into the intro, or the hook. Alright, there's the song. Let's take this turn and we can use music rebalance to remix this song if I want less vocal turn it down we can hit preview let's drop it down some more Let's create a karaoke version. And from here, we can adjust the sensitivity to tell it to go more aggressive after the vocal or leave less of it alone. Now it is grabbing some of those organy type sounds and guitar type sounds, but hey, not bad for some machine learning technology. We can adjust up to four different musical elements of this song. So that was the vocal. Let's try removing the bass or bumping up the bass. Remove the bass. Set it. Let's just bump it up a little bit. Pretty magical. Let's just wipe out all the percussion and see what happens. Now these are obviously very drastic moves, removing the bass, removing the percussion. Imagine just adding a little bit more of the percussion. I can see this being used in a great application for just little teeny mix changes. And I might even do something like this if I'm trying to adjust the sensitivity or, or figure out exactly what one of these is doing. Let's hear what other is. That's other. Bring in the vocal. You can also adjust the separation algorithm. And we'll talk about that in a later video. Now one thing I might try doing, if I'm trying to mix a song and adjust the sensitivity, is remove, say, all the dialogue. And there's still some remnants left over there. Let 
I know I'm getting it all, and now I can adjust my gain fader or slider. And I know that I'm getting most of that dialogue or most of that vocal. Pretty incredible. That's music rebalance. And just just for kicks, let's see what this sounds like. Only dialogue or only vocal. Pretty incredible for just a fader and some sensitivity settings. Uh, again, Isotope, you're magical. I don't know how you do it. But that is music rebalance. Next up, let's take a look at variable time. This allows us to adjust the timing of our audio and whatever we've selected. I'm going to select the intro here and let you hear it. Okay, now let's say I want to change the timing and preserve the pitch. If I want to have this start fast and then slow down to the actual time of the song, I can drop this little node down on the contour curve and let's see what it sounds like. We can see it kind of shrunk so we know it's faster. Okay, and we can do the opposite, make it slower, all that fun stuff. But the idea here is that we're preserving the pitch and the transients. And we can use these parameters, these sliders down here at the bottom, to specify the sensitivity of preserving the transient, or specify the sensitivity of maintaining the pitch. If you want to hit reset, we can reset that curve up there. And we can also do some crazy things, like something like this. We've added a bunch of nodes. If I want to remove one, I can hold control and click, remove it. Or just click and drag and add a new one. I can also turn up curve smoothing. That way it's a fluid change rather than just a you know, on off or triangle wave type of a thing. Let's see what this sounds like. <laughs> Again, pretty drastic, but you get the idea. And that is variable time. After that, we have variable pitch. And this is very similar. This just does the opposite. Instead of changing time, it's going to change the pitch for us. So we have the same contour curve and some of the same parameters down here at the bottom. And if I want to make this change pitch, and you saw the semitones change up there down to negative five, let's see what that does. And now we can hear that this variable pitch is also changing by default the timing, kind of like a vinyl or like a record or tape. If we slow it down, we're going to make the pitch lower and get something like this. We can do the opposite, speed it up, get a higher pitch. Or we can also tick preserve time. Now we have the same pitch coherence and transient sensitivity, just like we did in variable time. But instead of changing the time with this curve, we're changing a pitch. I think you get the idea here. Let's try something like that. Smooth it out a little bit and uh, see what we get. We preserved the time in that one. And that's pretty crazy. But here, let's, let's do a, uh, a less drastic move or a less drastic change here. Kind of have this uh, tape dive or vinyl dive here. Let's see if we can just tweak that a little bit. Reset the curve. I just want to do one of those, you know, slow down the vinyl, speed it up, classic moves here. Do that. All right, let's see what it sounds like. Hey, I mean, that's what we were after. That's what we got. So that is 
variable pitch. Now the other thing that comes with the standard version of RX-7 is a new audio suite plugin. We're used to the breath control in standalone version right here. Now the last thing I'm gonna talk about that comes with the standard version of RX-7 is breath control in an audio suite plugin. Now previously, if you wanted to use breath control, you have to send the audio over here to standalone mode, open up breath control, do your stuff, send it back. But now we can do all that stuff right in Pro Tools. We have everything we're used to. We can preview and bypass. We can output those breaths only and then use the parameters that we're used to, target level and sensitivity. There's nothing new here, except it's an audio suite plugin. So just wanted to draw your attention to that. In the next video, let's move to the advanced features that come with RX-7 and take a look at them in a post-production workflow rather than a music production workflow. I'll see you then.